in Brainerd, Minnesota, at the home of the Brainerd National Snowcross Events. We have the ultimate fan experience. We call it crew member for a day. That's when we pick one lucky contestant that entered through the WPSA website and they are selected to be a part of Avalanche Racing for the entire day. We participate in crew member for the day at every national event and our crew member stays with us all day Sunday. Ah, it's pretty cool, you know, if I wasn't racing, I'd rather be, I'd want to be, you know, have the opportunity to go check all these rigs, you know, it's a pretty cool thing. This contest was started to really give the fans the ultimate experience to understand snowcross from the pits. We also involved them with the WPSA on track, with the flaggers, with the starters, with the groomers. They work up in the press box, actually even announcing racing, pretty cool. Yeah, he just gets a whole bunch of stuff to do, and uh, you know, a lot of times they're wore out at the end of the day, they get to do so many different things. Crew member for a day's been awesome. I've been a snowcross fan for eight years now, ten years now, whatever it's been, and this is probably one of the greatest experiences that I've gotten to, to do. Kevin Bird? Hi, how's it going? Hi, good. Hi, Ross Martin? Yeah. How are you doing? Kevin Bird. Nice to meet you. Okay, the question we had up in the booth is what's your real name? Travis Kula. Travis. Yeah. How you doing? Sir, Levi? Levi, nice Levi. You. How are you doing? Crew you're member for the day. You're the crew member. Yeah, absolutely. Guys. Absolutely. You've been to the uh -huh. website? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Seed and Avalanche is stepping up and, you know, offering a little bit more than most teams. And, you know, it's, uh, it's a good way for us to show our great sponsors off. You know, uh, Polaris Parts Unlimited, Yellow Book, uh, Liberty Coach. Artiva, Truckee, you know, just, just everybody. And you know how they, uh, they give out a little extra stuff when we hit the podium. And you know, it's, it's just a great deal for everybody all the way around. Andrew made the podium, so they, they kicked in quite a bit. Uh, HMK backpack, a Z1R helmet, uh, stuff from Stud Boy, stuff from Power Mad. The list goes on and on and on. Go to the website, avalanteraceteam.com, sign up for it. Uh, maybe you'll get picked and you get to spend the day with uh, with a bunch of great guys and uh, a really fast race team. This is the second time Brainerd International Raceway has hosted a national WPSA event. Everyone had their work cut out for them because this race was a double header. Yeah, I mean, these double headers are brutal, you know. You're, you're out there pounding, you know, over and over and over, and it's just, it's hard on your body and, and hard on equipment. On day one of the Pro Open Finals, Tucker Hibbert claimed a second place position. Yeah, we were supposed to be finished up a couple weeks ago back in New York and they ended up canceling that, that race due to some, some bad weather. So I had to come here and finish up the season. Couldn't, let, couldn't cut the, the fans and sponsors short one race, so we came back here and uh, trying to get some more podiums for them. Robbie Melanoski had a repeat of his BIR final from last year and took home a first place. You know, it was just uh, kind of something we needed because we struggled quite a bit at the start of the year and uh, now it feels like it's all the hard work's paying off. On day two of the Pro Open Finals, Ryan Simons, while down with a cold, unexpectedly managed a third place finish. I got some sort of cold and can't breathe and lungs are killing me and it just sucks. It's been a ridiculously long weekend and ended on a good note, so I'm happy. In his first podium of the season, Matthew Morin claimed second place. Area native Levi Lavalley had a stellar weekend. He claimed third on day one of the Pro Open Finals and first on day two. I just won my second final of the weekend. You know, I won a stock final, now I won an open one, and I, I couldn't be happier. You know, I had a ton of, ton of my, uh, my friends and family and all the locals uh, came out, you know, it's Longville's not too far away, so they all came out. Heck, they even brought a, a bus over with kids, and, you know, it was awesome. It couldn't have worked out any better having them here cheering me on and, and then me going on to win, so I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. I definitely wouldn't have made it through this weekend, the four finals and all the heat races if I wasn't pounding Red Bulls like a madman. <laughs> I guess the only thing missing was, was Misha, but we had the team owner, Bonnie Glapke, here, and she took care of us, so. Cheers. If you were a pro snowcross racer, which oil would you trust to get you on the podium? Amsoil. 
Ask DJ Ekstrom. He's used it his entire racing career. And whether you're racing your friends on the trail or foes on the track, use Amsoil Synthetic two-stroke oils to maximize the power and performance of your sled. Interceptor gets it done on the trails, and Dominator gets it done on the racetrack. Amsoil, the first in synthetics.